Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. This week we've been studying uh, the Word of God and we've been looking at some interesting uh, everyday objects and the series is called Show and Tell. Just like how in a school project you may have taken a, an object and described it to your class. So today on Show and Tell we have the hammer and it's a very very useful tool for driving in nails, for breaking down something, maybe it's an old wall or stones. Um, it's, it's a powerful tool in the hand of the one who wields it. And it's a must-have tool uh, in the kit for carpenters. You're driving nails and you're, you know, with this other end, you're taking out a nail and so on. So a hammer, very useful, very powerful. Jeremiah 23 and 29 has this to say about the Word of God. Jeremiah 23, 29, God says, Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord? and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. So God is likening His Word. He likens His Word to two things here. He likens His Word to a fire and to a hammer. And both these things bring about change. A fire brings about change instantaneously, you know, to the things that, that, that it burns and it burns away and it brings change in, in, instantaneously. A hammer it can do both. It can bring a change if it's, let's say, like a rock. If, it, if, you, if you wield the hammer, hit the hammer uh, on the rock, it brings change instantaneously. But also, it means that we need to persist in using that hammer to break the rock into pieces. So uh, a rock could be, you know, maybe we are facing hard rock-like situations and circumstances. You know, it could be things that are difficult very, very difficult. And we look at it and it seems like a mountain even. Right? Very difficult. Or it could be something that is very stubborn. You know, we've been trying to solve, we've been trying to move it out of the way, but very, very stubborn. It just doesn't budge. Or it could be something that is very, very unyielding. So whether it's difficult, stubborn or unyielding, have you tried using the hammer of God's Word, right? God's Word has to be wielded and used at such times. The promises of God's Word, the prophecies that were spoken uh, are given to you and I, and uh, the quickened work, Word of the Holy Spirit, the prompting, the prophetic Word, the supernatural, and sometimes it's the supernatural communication of the Word of God which comes to us through maybe an encounter, maybe an angelic encounter, maybe a powerful encounter with God, or maybe through uh, dreams or visions, and the Word is communicated to us. Now that Word needs to be wielded like a hammer against those very things that try to hinder us, that try to stop us, that are like mountains on the way. And how do we do that? We read the Word of God, we study the Word of God, we retain the Word of God in our minds. We meditate on it over and over again. We think about it deeply so that it changes our perspective. It changes, it renovates our thinking, renews our mind. We also, you know, uh, declare and decree the Word of God. We decree it. We say, this is what God's Word says. And so I release, I speak the Word of God. And God's Word is powerful. It, it is creative, changes lives changes circumstances, right? So we are called to do that. We are called to wield the hammer of God's Word that breaks the rock in pieces. So let's do that today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that your Word is alive and powerful like a sharp two-edged sword, and it's like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. And today, God, we, we recall and recollect, Lord, everything that you have spoken to us, God, the words, Lord, from, your, from, from the Bible, from the scriptures that you have quickened by your Holy Spirit. The word that was communicated to us in different ways, God. Lord, we take a hold of that and we take a hold of the hammer of God's word and use it against situations that are difficult and stubborn and unyielding. For we know that when we persist, that your hammer, the hammer of God's word, your word breaks the rock in pieces. We thank you for the privilege of using the hammer of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.